Creative Gems, welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy and today I'm going to show you how to make a large wall mirror out of smaller Dollar Tree mirrors. To start, I will list out the materials. And unless otherwise stated, all the materials for this DIY is from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. For the wall mirror, we will be using two white foam boards and six of these medium-sized mirrors. I'm not sure the size of these mirrors, but they look to be about 8 by 10 inches. You can actually use any size you prefer. I'll also be adding seven 4x4 four four frameless mirror tiles like these, which I bought in bulk from Amazon for less than a buck a piece. At Dollar Tree, you can find similar mirror tiles in the candle section, and they come in at 5x5 five five inches. We'll also be needing some chrome car trim as well as some silver rhinestone ribbon, both of which were bought on Amazon. For additional embellishments, we will be adding some square, loose, flat back, clear gems. And to hang the mirror later, we will be using the hooks from three small picture frames. If you prefer command strips, they work just as well, but I already had some hooks saved from previous projects. And to help us with today's project, we will need some strong glue. Usually I use Fix-All, but for this project, I'm going to be trying out this Weld Bond glue, which I purchased from Amazon, but you should be able to find it at your local hardware store as well. As stated on the bottle, the glue is supposed to bond to most anything, dries clear, and is permanent. We'll also be supplementing with some hot glue. My hot glue gun was purchased from Amazon. To begin, we will be applying a generous amount of Weld Bond glue to one of the foam boards. Make sure that the glue is spread evenly across the entire foam board, including the edges. For near instant hold, I'm also going to be adding some hot glue as well. This will help bond the second foam board to the first one rather quickly. And between the two types of glue, we should have a very secure hold. Next, we will cut out three hooks from the back of the cardboard backing that came with the dollar store frames. The frames have already been used for other crafts, but of course I say these hooks as they come in handy when making wall decor pieces that need to be hung. Once the three hooks are cut out, place them onto the back of the foam board that we just glued together. You want one to space them out so that you can hang the mirror later either horizontally or vertically. Once you are satisfied with the positioning of the three hooks, apply some hot glue and or fix-all to the back of each and then place them onto the back of the foam board. Press down for a few seconds on each hook to ensure a secure hold. Here you can see I have placed my three hooks so that I can decide later if I want to hang that mirror vertically or horizontally. Next, disassemble each of the framed mirrors and place each of them on the foam board, three across and two down. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in to today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Here you can see I'm going to leave a gapped row in the center. This is where the smaller 4x4 mirror tiles will be placed. And to add to the design element, I am going to add a column of clear square gems in between each of the square tiles, except not between the second and third, and not between the fifth and sixth mirror tile. That way all the mirror tiles fit perfectly onto the foam board. Once you are happy with the placing of the mirrors and gems, it's time to secure them onto the foam board. For this, we will use a combination of weld bond and hot glue for the larger mirrors.
For the smaller mirror tiles that are being sandwiched between the larger mirrors, I'll only be applying weld bond. That way I can adjust the mirror tiles and slide them into position while applying the clear gems in between them. The, benef the benefit of using weld bond is that it does not dry as quickly as hot glue, so there's time if you need to make any adjustments to your pieces. To adhere the clear gems, I have chosen to use some clear tacky glue. The tacky, tacky glue dries a bit faster than the weld bond, but not as quickly as the hot glue. Once all the mirrors and gems are secured into place, it's time to make a frame for the wall mirror. For this, we will be applying the strip of chrome car trim all around the perimeter of the wall mirror. The chrome car trim comes with a sticky backing, so no glue is required unless you are worried about needing extra reinforcements. Next, we will also be applying some of this silver rhinestone ribbon to the sides of the foam board to give it a more finished look. And as a final step, we are going to add a couple of strings of silver beaded necklace in between the larger mirrors and the smaller ones. This will add an extra glam factor with a design element. And here's the final look for our large wall mirror. It can be hung onto the wall using the hooks we placed at the back, either horizontally or vertically. Alternatively, you can opt to sit it on top of a console table like I have done here. 
And here's another large floor mirror I made several years ago, whereby I took 15 of the largest Dollar Tree mirrors I could find and laid them three across and five down. The mirrors were glued to a large piece of plywood I purchased at Home Depot. The frame you see here is actually made of foam, and once painted, you can't tell that it's not even wood. And here you can see the floor mirror placed in a bedroom, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Comment down below and let me know which mirror you prefer, a wall mirror or a tall floor mirror. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon!